Hi there, I'm Juan Carlos Gonzalez and I'm a Microsoft 365 MVP. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you one of the features we have in SharePoint Premium that allows us to put some governance controls in place. Particularly, as you can see in my screen, I'm going to talk about restricted access control for SharePoint sites, RAC for SharePoint sites. So basically, the idea is that with these controls, we are going to be able to restrict access only to a set of users or groups at the site level. And this is going to work for Microsoft 365 group connected, team connected, and non-group connected sites. So that's really awesome. In order to set up RSC controls for SharePoint sites, we have two choices. We can make use of the SharePoint Online Admin Center or PowerShell. So let's go to the demo. So here I am in my demo environment, and first thing I'm going to show you is the security group I'm going to use to grant access to a particular site in the tenant. So if I click here in Teams and Groups, and I go to Activate Teams and, active teams and Groups and Security Groups, as you can see here, I have this Modern WordPress Conference Paris 2024 security group. As you can imagine, I did this demo at a recent conference in Paris. And in this group, I only have one member, that is Juan Carlos. And Juan Carlos is an owner and also a member of the group. So no matter if I try to add other users to the particular site uh, where I have defined LSE controls, the users are not going to be able to access because they are not members of this security group. And the same idea, works with Microsoft 365 uh, connected, uh, Microsoft 365 connected sites, um, Microsoft Teams connected sites. So how do you enable RSC for SharePoint sites? Well, first of all, let's close this and let's click on Advanced Management. As you know, the Advanced Management area is uh, active as soon as you have SharePoint Advanced Management licensing in place. So, if I scroll down to the features I have in here, I have this site level access restriction. So let's click on the shortcut. As you can see here, I have already enabled this feature, this site level access restriction in my tenancy. That's pretty cool. Next thing I have to do is just to define the um, this governance control on particular sites in the tenant. So I go to the active sites and I'm going to click so I'm going to search for modern. This is site. I can, I'm going to click on the site and then on settings. And here, as you can see, I have already configured restricted, restricted site access. I can edit and I can add more security groups if I want it. I have a limit the security groups or Microsoft 365 group. But in this case, for this demonstration, is enough with this a security group already configured in there. That's pretty cool. So let's review the site actually. Since I'm a member of this security group that I have configured in the site, I have access to the site as expected. But as you can see here in the permissions panel, I have other people that should have access to the site. Alex Gonzalez, Jose Gonzalez. If everything I have told you is correct, neither of them should have access to the site, even they have permissions. Let's review that. So I'm going to copy this site address in here. I'm going to another session. As you can see here, this is the session of Jose Gonzalez. And I'm going to open a new tab in the browser. I'm going to paste the site address. And Jose shouldn't have access to this site. Boom. As you can see here, it's working as expected. Alice is getting this message, access the night. There are policies in place that are preventing you from accessing or seeing content on this site. So it works as expected. This is pretty awesome. So um, I uh, said at the beginning of this video that it's possible also to uh, configure those restricted site access policies by using PowerShell. How to do that? It's very straightforward. Um, there are some differences depending on if you are uh, configuring for a communication site or a team site. 
So for the inside, it's very straightforward. So as you can see here, it's as easy as using this command let set SPO site. Then you need to indicate the site. This is the site address in my case. This is a thin connected site. And then you only need to define restricted access control parameter set to true. Perfect. With uh, this power set settings, you can get uh, for this particular site the restricted access control uh, parameter value. And of course, you can go back at any point to the initial state. What about communication sites? Well, it's a little bit different. So in this case, of course, you have to use the same command let set SPU site, then indicate the site you are going to uh, configure. And then instead of using restricted access control, you need to work with the add restricted access control groups. And then you have to indicate um, in a comma separates format the IDs of the groups you want to configure. So it's a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit more difficult in my opinion using PowerShell. The good thing is that we can also do the setting using the SharePoint Online Admin Center as I saw in the demo. And that's all. I hope you have found uh, this video useful. I hope uh, you start thinking on uh, getting access if you don't have it yet to SharePoint and management features because they really help us on properly compare our SharePoint sites. And uh, those governance features we have uh, as part of uh, SharePoint Navas management in SharePoint Premium are actually really great in order to uh, do a successful rollout of Copilot for Microsoft 365. So thanks for watching and please, uh, if you haven't done yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date uh, about any new video I produce around Microsoft 365, SharePoint Premium, Microsoft Teams and so on. I normally produce videos in Spain, but from time to time I also produce video in English. For now, that's all. Um, see you. Bye bye.